Hey everybody, I was looking for a project for you to try this week that would be a little bit challenging, but also kind of a low investment in materials and time. Um, so what I thought of is a salt pig. Uh, if you're not familiar, a little salt cellar that you can put on the side of your stove or something, so you can just grab a little pinch of salt. They're really cute. Uh, there are a lot of potential uh, for decoration on them, uh, but they can also just be a simple, small thing that you can make and they're great for just fitting in little spaces in the kiln. So I'm going to make some for when the, the next time comes around that I fire my big kiln, I'll have some little things to tuck in. Um, I'm going to show you one that would be just sort of um, a small, maybe a little bit under a pound of clay and show you my take on the design. And uh, you can obviously make up your own variations, but this one's fun. You get to use the torch a little bit and um, see what you think. All right, here we are with a pound of clay on the wheel. Let's get it centered up and off we'll go. Smaller pieces of clay I find a little bit more challenging to get centered. Just take your time. I'm gonna open down to a quarter inch from the bottom. And I definitely won't be trimming the bottom of this at all. So I wanna take it down to a nice finished um, bottom thickness, quarter inch. And I actually went a little bit too far, so I'll push a little bit back towards the middle. And then I don't want to open this too wide. It's the way this is going to work, we're going to make a cylinder-based form, a nice finished lip. Um, we're going to kind of balloon it out a little bit, and then we're going to dry it with the torch and tap it on kind of a diagonal so that it'll sit forward so you can kind of reach in there and grab the salt instead of having to reach down in. Um, so here goes, we're going to just pull this wall up. I'm going to leave a little extra thickness at the top because I want to make a, a little detail up there. I want it to look like a, a finished opening. So I'm going to let it get a little bit more balloony. Now, the prototype that I made before I shot the video, uh, the opening seemed a little small to get your fingers in. So I'm gonna try to open it up a little bit wider uh, and make the piece a little bit more functional. So let me just balloon this out a little bit more. Compressing that lip a little bit. And I'm gonna use the wood knife to trim this bottom nice and clean. I wanna take the extra clay off and get it down to a fairly narrow base. And that's gonna facilitate the whole tipping it over on a diagonal. I'm um, gonna use my needle tool to separate that ring of waste clay from the wheel. And now I'm gonna use my metal rib to finish this shape. Normally I say use the rounded side of the rib, but for this one, I wanna use the side that has a corner because I wanna create a little detail line right up there at the neck. I'm going with my fingers on the inside, not really enough room to get a rib in there. And it gives me something to push against. I'm gonna create that little detail up there at the rim. So very, very simple egg shaped kind of a pot. A uh, little bit of a line of demarcation there at the rim uh, so that the rim seems like an extra thing. And I'm going to just soften the edges of it with my chamois. And now I'm going to kind of lean back make sure I like the shape. And yes, I do. Um, it looks fine. I'm going to take the torch to it and just stiffen it enough that I can manipulate it right away. It's not a 100% required aspect. If you don't like the torch or you don't want to mess around with it, um, you can just let it dry to leather hard before you make your alterations. But uh, I want to be able to just kind of do it and set it aside and be done with it. So I'm going to take my torch, light it up. I'm just going to work the whole profile up and down a few times. Just by stiffening it up a little bit, it's going to be easier to do the alteration that I want to do. 
and have it kind of hold its shape because it, this is a fairly thin wall. I'm gonna go ahead and wire off and then I'm gonna show you how to manipulate the form. Not a whole lot to wire off. It's got a really small area down there. Make sure my hands are clean and dry. And I'm just gonna lift this thing up and show you it's got a nice little lip and a pretty narrow bottom. Take a board here and hmm, don't really want to make a mess of the bottom of the board. Let me scrape this off. Thinking ahead for once. Okay, set that board down. And what I'm looking for is instead of it being round, I'd like it to be D-shaped so that the bottom is flat when I reach in and then it's got kind of like a little arch. So I'm going to set it down for just a moment. And I'm going to go ahead and take my fingers and pull out on the lip to make that D-shaped opening. So I think you can see that's my basic shape. And then I'm going to take this bottom, smooth it out a little bit with my hand before I alter. And I want to just gently tap it on a diagonal, kind of caving in that bottom a little bit trying to get it to sit where it's gonna be secure. I don't want it tipping over and dumping salt all over the counter. Um, but I also want it to lean forward so that I can reach in and grab what I want. And I think that what I've got right now is about right. It's got that D-shaped opening and it's sitting pretty stably. Just make sure that I'm happy with that bottom. And then I'm gonna give it one final little tug and straighten out that, that base. What's nice about doing it this way is you get the advantage of that finished rim, but you can have this odd shape that doesn't look just like a thrown piece. It looks like you did something fancy. Um, sits sideways like that. And I think it's pretty nice for a quick project that doesn't take too much time or clay. Um, it gives you something that's that's nice. You can give it as a gift. Maybe um, get some fancy salt to put in there. And, uh, you know, not too early to be thinking about the holidays and, and what you can make for people you love um, that they'll use hopefully every day. And this might just be one of those kinds of projects. Shoot me an email or a comment if you have any questions about it. But that's pretty much it. Um, we don't have to do any trimming. We don't have to do any finishing other than... Um, glazing it and firing it.